Okay, we will be doing the membrane filtration technique. We will be working ar around the flame, okay, near the Bunsen burner, to create an updraft to reduce the potential any potential contamination from the air. Next, we will measure uh, the volume of sample to be filtered. Okay, mix well the sample and we will measure using a measuring cylinder. So uh, the measuring cylinder should be autoclaved first. This we can do by uh, autoclaving it with an aluminum foil wrapped around the mouth of the measuring cylinder. Okay, so after we have measured uh, about 100 ml of sample, we can prepare the filtration set. So this is the vessel, the bottom is the vessel to collect the filtrate, and we have a filter base on top, a glass based filter uh, base. Next we have to place the membrane filter. So the membrane filter is autoclaved first. As you can see, uh, it is placed within uh, glass petri dishes. After autoclaving, uh, we should dry these uh, autoclave st uh, sterilized equipments and materials because uh, moist or wet filters are prone to contamination and not easy to work with. You can also see uh, that there are different types of forceps available. Uh, because the one with the sharp points will may uh, break the membrane filter, we will stick with the one that is blunted. That, that is blunt and will not cause any breakage to the membrane filter. Okay, we can uh, temporarily autoclave it or clean it uh, using an alcohol flame, but preferably the forceps should be autoclaved in aluminum foil and dried before use. If you have a hot air oven, then it should be autoclaved within the inside the hot air oven, okay? Before use. The blue filters, uh, the the blue pieces are the separators between the filter. The membrane filter is a white one, so we are using a 0 0.2 micron membrane filter. Yeah. You can see that there is a, the surface of the membrane filter should be shinier, it should be placed on top. Then you should uh, place the uh, funnel gently onto the membrane filter, onto the base, and clamp it so that it will not uh, fall down. We have attached the vacuum pump, and we can then pour the sample into the vacuum. Uh, into the funnel. The funnel can also be autoclaved and should be autoclaved to, to make it sterile before use. Uh, 
and then we on the vacuum pump to begin the suction the filtration okay once the filter is dried you can slowly remove the funnel okay and we will remove the pipe the tubing in order to release the pressure so we are going to place it onto a mekongki aga gently lift the membrane filter and then place it slowly onto the aga plate carefully not trying not to trap any bubbles under the membrane filter so once you're done you can uh, uh, remember to incubate it inverted Okay, you do not have to worry the membrane filter will not drop so remember to incubate it inverted and then to if you have several samples you can uh, reuse the filtration set provided you thoroughly flush the funnel with sterile uh, distilled water Okay, that is a quick way of uh, cleaning your filtration set or filtration apparatus if you do not have additional sets available.